Okay, if you are currently hosting a site with SiteGround and you have ever received the really pesky server overage notification from them, this can be really frustrating. And basically what this means is that your hosting account has gone over the limit of the resources that you can use on the server. But I'm gonna show you some easy ways to track down what's causing that and then take action to fix it. Okay, the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna contact SiteGround and ask them if they can provide you with some more details to exactly what is causing this issue. Now in some cases, they may be able to lead you right to the root of the problem and you can take action to fix it right away. In other cases, the information that they come up with may not be that helpful and a bit vague as to what's causing the server overages. So I'm gonna show you a really cool tool that exists inside of your web hosting control panel called AW Stats. And this actually gives you tons of detailed information about the visits to your site. And there's two main areas in here that we're gonna look at closely. So let's just, uh, let's pull up our test site here. Now, the first area that we wanna look at closely is the IP addresses that are actually hitting the site. And here it will give you the top 25 IP addresses that are hitting your site. And you wanna pay attention to the top three most hit IP addresses. And basically what you can do is you can take that address and then you can go over to a site called who.is and you can pop that IP address in there and it will give you the information of that IP address. This is my internet provider here. Uh, but in some cases it may lead you to a website owner or something that looks a little malicious or fraudulent. And if you're unsure, you can ask SiteGround to investigate that IP address and they will let you know if it is something legitimate or the actual code source of that IP address. So that's one area in AW stats you wanna look at. The next area you wanna look at is the robots or the internet bots that are actually hitting your site. Now if you have some bad bots that are coming at your site and delivering traffic, this could really spike the resources on the server. So we wanna make sure that the traffic we're getting from internet bots are legitimate bots. And a real easy way to combat this problem, if that's what you're dealing with, is to install a free plugin that will stop these bad bots. Now, below in this video, there is an article that will show you our top three plugins that you can use for this. A really good one is just called Stop Bad Bots. Uh, another one is Black Hole for Bots, and the third one that we have is Barbecue Bad Bots. So you can simply install these easy to use plugins, activate them, and they will take all of those bad bots and they will put them into a quarantine kind of area. So those hits are not causing server resource spikes on your hosting account. Now, after you've done all this, there's one more thing that you can do to find out what's causing these server overages. Now, in most cases, if you are dealing with site ground server overages, they may have deactivated your website. Now this is okay because you can contact them and you can give them your IP address and they will allow access to that address only. And to get your IP address, it's actually really simple. You can simply go to google.com and you can type in my IP and it actually will display it right at the top there. So you can give that to SiteGround and they will allow you access to your site. Once you have access to your site, you're going to want to install a free plugin called Query Monitor. And we will do that here. We're just gonna go add new and we're gonna type in Query Monitor. And we're gonna install and activate this. And you will see that now we have a new menu item in our admin menu. And what this does is it actually will display all of the processes that are running on any single page in your site. So as you load a page in your site in the admin bar, it will display all the processes. And if you do have some issues in those processes, there will be some red text inside of this dropdown. Now, currently on this site, there are no issues, but this is another tool that can help you track down 
what's causing those server overages. And 99% of the time, it's because of a process or a script or a massive amount of traffic that is hitting the server all at once. So I hope this was helpful. I did go through this very fast. So if you have any questions, please comment below. And there's also an article in the description of this video that will walk through all of these steps in more detail. Okay, thanks for watching.